Today, let us learn about the least common multiple or you can call it LCM2. Let us understand the meaning of the term common multiple. When two or more numbers have the same numbers as their multiples, those multiples are said to be common multiples. Now, let us see what do we mean by the least common multiple. The least common multiple of two or more numbers is the smallest number that is a multiple of those numbers. To understand it in a better way, let us solve an example. Find the least common multiple of 5 and 10. We will follow a three-step process to find the least common multiple. Step 1. List the multiples of all the given numbers. The multiples of 5 are 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40 and so on. The multiples of 10 are 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 and so on. Step 2. Identify the common multiples of all the given numbers. The common multiples of 5 and 10 are 10, 20, 30, 40 and so on. Step 3. Write the least common multiple of all the given numbers. Here, the least common multiple is 10. Thus, LCM is 10, which is the smallest number of the common multiples. Now, let us solve one more example. Find the LCM of 6, 8 and 12. The multiples of 6 are 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48, 54, 60 and so on. Next, the multiples of 8 are 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, 56, 64, 72, 80 and so on. Finally, the multiples of 12 are 12, 24, 36, 48, 60, 72, 84, 96, 108, 120 and so on. Here, the common multiples of 6, 8 and 12 are 24 and 48 and so on. Thus, LCM is 24. Now kids, I am sure all of you must be wondering why we did not list 0 as a multiple for any of the numbers. That is because we do not consider 0 when we have to find the LCM. As otherwise, the LCM of all the numbers would always be 0. Finding the LCM by the prime factorization method which we learned last year. Let us find the LCM of 25, 15, 30. We begin by finding the prime factorization of each number. You can find it either by repeated division or by building the factor tree. Here we get the prime factorization of 
25 as 5 into 5. 15 as 3 into 5 and 30 as 2 into 3 into 5. Step 2. Circle the common prime factors occurring in all the numbers. Here, the common prime factor is 5. Step 3. Underline the remaining common prime factors of any two numbers. Here, we get the remaining common factor as 3. Step 4. List the uncommon prime factors of all the numbers. Finally, the uncommon factors are 2 and 5. Step 5. The LCM is the product of the common prime factors of all the numbers. Remaining common prime factors of any two numbers and uncommon prime factors of all the numbers. Thus, LCM of 25, 15 and 30 is equal to 5 into 3 into 2 into 5 is equal to 150. Now, let us see how to find the LCM by the common division method. Let us find the LCM of the same numbers, that is 25, 15 and 30 by this method. Here, we would be finding the prime factors of all the numbers together. Step 1. Divide the numbers by the smallest prime number which divides at least one of the numbers. Begin with the smallest prime number, that is 2. Here, number 30 is divisible by 2 and 30 divided by 2 is equal to 15. Kids, any number that is not divisible by a prime factor is brought down as it is. Here, numbers 25 and 15 are not divisible by 2. So, we bring them down as they are. Step 2. Continue dividing the quotients by the least common prime factor till you get 1 as the quotient for all the numbers. Now, we take the next prime number, that is 3. 15 divided by 3 is equal to 5. So, we write 5 below both the 15s. But here, as number 25 is not divisible by 3, we bring it down as it is. The next prime number which we take is 5. So, 25 divided by 5 is equal to 5. 5 divided by 5 is equal to 1. Again, 5 divided by 5 is equal to 1. Now, we have 5 as the dividend. It is a prime number. So, divide 5 by 5, we get 1. Now, we have 1 as a quotient for all the numbers. Step 3. The product of the prime factors of all the numbers gives the LCM. Thus, LCM is equal to 2 into 3 
into 5 into 5, which is equal to 2 raised to the power of 1 into 3 raised to the power of 1 into 5 squared, which is equal to 150. Now, let us solve another example. Find the LCM of 21 and 63. We begin with 3 as both the numbers are not divisible by 2. Thus, 21 divided by 3 gives 7 and 63 divided by 3 gives 21. We again divide by 3 as 21 is divisible by 3. Bring down 7 as it is and write 7 below 21. Now we divide by 7 to get the quotients of both the numbers as 1. Thus, LCM is equal to 3 into 3 into 7 which is equal to 3 squared into 7 raised to the power of 1 which is equal to 63. Remember 1. Any number that is not divisible by a prime factor is brought down as it is. 2. If two numbers do not have a common factor other than 1, their LCM is the product of the numbers. 3. The LCM of two numbers, of which one is a multiple of the other, is the larger number. Kids, now try some examples and find the LCM by common division method on your own.